originally from here, uh, Myrtle Beach, actually, and uh, I was a good surfer. And uh, now I live in San Clemente, California. Uh, guys like Scott and Kelly Richards and Mark Allison, all the surfing community from this area, they, uh, they helped push me out to the world and uh, go to do some of the pro contests and that type of thing. And um, I was really good at painting my boards, so I started painting my boards. And in the contests, I would you know, do okay, but everybody wanted me to paint their boards. And so it just developed into a career. And um, from there, I traveled around the world painting surfboards and designing surf products. And uh, 20 years later, I'm probably one of the most uh, unique people because I get to travel around the world, surf, and design cool stuff. It's my job to make things look cool, basically, in the surf industry. So it's a pretty good job. All the inspiration, I would really, I mean, it comes from traveling, uh, definitely the, the ocean and, uh, you know, being a surfer, you're out there in these pristine environments and uh, the waves and the fish and the birds and the sun, everything. So it's just, I would say just nature, nature in general, that's where it comes from. Every couple years what I try to do is uh, come out and visit all those shops and the people that have supported me over the years and uh, say hi to people, surf their own break, give my son some fun. but. Uh, you know, it's really about kind of like giving back. You know, Scott uh, here at Surf the Earth has done tremendous things for me. And uh, it's nice to be in his shop and see the local people and surf the waves out front and just show kids what I do so they know that this is a viable career, that there's a guy out there like me that designs all this stuff that's in the surf shop. And uh, when you're from a small town like Polly's Island, it's just like, you might not realize that. But, um, you know, I'm here to tell them that it's, it's totally possible. All right, so we're just going to do a simple design on here just to kind of get us warmed up. And just kind of, why don't we do like a... And basically, with doing surfboards, you just want to complement the shape and kind of make it, like it look, make it look like it's going fast when it's just kind of sitting in the rack. I need a white, so I got all my pens. So I can just show up anywhere in the world with that right there and then paint anywhere from 10 to 100 surfboards in an afternoon. It's like amazing. Yeah, well, you know what happened was um, I used to airbrush for Kelly Richard surfboards, uh, perfection. And uh, it was all airbrushing back then. and. Of course, I got to paint everybody's board but mine, you know. And so I'd, I'd end up with a white surfboard. A man that lives here in Pauly's Island, a man named Dick Rosen, brought these pens back uh, from Japan for me. And uh, I started painting with them. And it's literally not just changed my life, but uh, it's changed the way surfboards are painted around the world. Because I would started traveling and painting boards, and people just thought it was the coolest thing, because before that it was just all airbrush. And then now anything's possible. Like you can see these boards behind me, they're all painted with paint pens. I need a little help from someone else. Baby from that woman made of gold, never to be bought or to be sold. You'd be a lucky man to find just one. I said you can lean as far as you can, long as someone gives you a hand. Just enough to put you back again. Baby knows the world and it goes like that now Baby knows the world and don't you back down Baby knows 